Alrighty, hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are starting a new build series. We finished with the tank, so what is the point to continue with the... So what is the point in continuing with that? Let's go ahead and start building a new World War I warship. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and try and design this around a real World War I warship. I don't know how this is gonna go. Uh, but essentially, I've looked at how long and how wide these things are that I wanna try and build. And it is 110 meters long by 11 meters wide. Now, I don't know how much space we actually have within the build area. So we gotta try and figure that out together. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this all the way to the end over there. I'm then gonna send it all the way to the end over here. And then I'm gonna do this. And we will see how long this thing actually is. Hopefully, uh, as long as we need it to be. Currently, not so much. 45 meters, uh, at the longest, it is 56 meters long. So I think we're gonna have to build it this big and just hope that it looks good in the end. I'm sure it will. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and have a little look at this and see how wide this thing can actually be as well. So if it is uh, as wide as we've said it is, or as long as we said it is, uh, this is how wide it can actually be. Uh, which, honestly, I don't think looks terrible. So we'd have to obviously build this forwards um, and then build the hole underneath it, which I guess is fine if we do it that way around. Uh, this is obviously gonna go all the way to the back. We're then gonna have to make the back end look nice too, but that's fine. So do this. There we go. Going forwards, we're gonna have to do a similar thing, but obviously it's gonna go inwards a little bit. Don't know how that's gonna go, uh, to be totally honest with you guys, but we're gonna go ahead and try and figure it out. So, yeah, I don't really know, actually. Uh, we're gonna build it in a little bit, and then we're gonna build it forwards, and we're gonna do it that way. So one, two, three, four. I will do it in fours, just because, you know, everything else will be. So I think that'll be fine. So if we keep going forwards like this, just for now. There we go. We can then do this. Ba 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 bum. There we go. And then as we get too far forwards, we can actually go ahead and just build it straight into this. Which honestly, we might already be there. But let's just do one more. And hopefully that'll look okay. So one, two, three, four. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this. Yes. It's gonna be quite a sharp, quite a sharp ship. I think. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do this bit next. There we go. And I think we're actually going to just take that to a point. I think that's fine. There we go. So something like this. That is awesome. Yes. Okay. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, so I think we're onto something here. <laughs> At least we might be. Right. Okay, cool. With that being said, let's go ahead and push this forwards. From there, we're obviously going to go ahead and build this bit backwards too. So hopefully that looks good. And there we go. Honestly, that looks wrong. It does look very wrong. I don't know whether my workings out were, were bad. I think they were, actually. Maybe a little bit. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we actually go ahead and make this a little bit smaller in terms of its width. Just because, to me, this looks way too wide. Uh, especially for how long it's going to be. So we're going to go ahead and delete a bunch of this uh, going backwards just to make it a little bit skinnier. Don't know how skinny that is going to be, but probably around here. So delete these guys. Go ahead and connect these together if we can. So delete this one and go from there to here. Delete all of the top layer because we don't want it like that. And that is what it's going to look like. A little bit weird, to be honest. Very, very weird, actually. So if we delete all of these guys going backwards, all the way backwards to here, that's fine. We're also actually going to delete the first front few, just like this. And we're going to replace those with these guys. Here we go. Because uh, honestly, I think this will make it look a little bit nicer. It's not quite as sharp, and that is exactly what we want. So there we go. From there, I think I might actually just fill this in. So let's go ahead and do that to there. And there we go. This is what our ship is going to look like. I don't think it's quite as pointy as it needs to be, but I can't really do much about that because we don't have one by eight, which is unfortunate, but never mind. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is actually go through each of these. We are going to be raising them up by about four or five. In fact, probably four. Let's go ahead and do this here. Um, and then hopefully this will look pretty good. Yes, it is all flat. But um, I'm thinking, even though it is flat, uh, we can get a really nice shape out of it. And build it up quite nicely. Uh, once we go up enough, we are going to actually have it come outwards a little bit. Which might be a bit weird. But we're going to go with this for now. Anywho, let's go to this piece right here and flip this around and do this. 
And there we go. Nice. Nice indeedy. There we go. Uh, so on the sides, we're actually going to go ahead and send this all the way backwards too. Obviously, that is going to get rounded off at the back, so we don't have to worry too much. Um, but yeah, this is good. Alright, shall we do the back end now? I think we should, actually. So let's delete back this way a little bit. Uh, in fact, delete delete all of this. There we go. That's fine. So, starting off, we're going to go with probably one or two of these. Let's do two. Actually, let's do one. Let's do one. We're then going to go to one of these, and we'll do about two of those. That's good. And then we'll go ahead and do this for the last little bit. And I guess that's going to be until the edge, which is only here. So, send it across. There we go. Delete all of the internal bits. All the internal bits are gone. And fix it all together. There we go, lovely. Alright, good. All of this is going to be done exactly the same way, so that's going to go up to there. These guys are going to go up to here. And that is looking awesome. Awesome sauce. There we go. So each and every one of these is going to be done. We're then going to seal these guys together across the back. And that is fine. This to me looks really big. It looks so big. But I'm thinking we will get something nice out of this in the end. So, let's start off with the front end and figure out how we're going to go about doing this bit. So I'm thinking we actually extend this bit over the edge like this. And that will look good. Does it look good? I actually think it does. So we're going to go ahead and send it across the front end like this again. We're then going to do the final piece, which is actually one of these. Uh, out to the front again. Unfortunately, we can actually go further forwards than we thought. Yeah, that's weird, because I didn't think this was a thing. But yeah, if we go from there and we do this... Oh, we might have to go up one. That's fine. So if we go from here, and we go up to there, that looks okay, actually. That doesn't look terrible, anyway. Cool. So, is that as far forward as it can go? Oh, we've got a little bit of room to play with. That might actually be a good thing. Anyway, uh, what we'll do is we'll actually have this go backwards. Because we can. And hopefully... Uh, we can actually merge all of this together in the end, and it'll look nice too. So let's do all of this. That's good. Let's do this piece right here, and send it backwards. Yes! Okay, no, I actually think this looks good. Okay, let's do another one of these. We'll attach this guy, obviously, onto there. Yeah, okay. That actually looks pretty sick. So, obviously, I've built a World War One warship before. I'm hoping that this one is better, and works better. We're going to have a proper boiler, everything's going to work, hopefully, and that'll be pretty good. So, I'm thinking we extend this guy backwards to about there. Because the front end should be quite large. In fact, let's go even further than that, backwards to about here. That seems pretty crazy, but I think about the right size. Yeah, so we'll do that. Um, and I don't know whether to go up another one or not, but what I am thinking we do is we actually do this. So this might look weird, and it might look really bad, but let's try it. And if it looks good, we'll keep it. If it doesn't look good, we'll get rid of it. That's fine. All right, here we go. So turn it around. Do all of this to there. Good. Then we're going to have to do one by twos. So that goes all the way across to here-ish. That's fine. And then we go ahead and we soften this bit up by doing this. Bam! There we go. Honestly, that looks, that looks lovely. From there, uh, we're going to go back to what we did down here. So each and every one of these is going to be like that. I'm probably just going to do this on the front right there. And then each of these is going to be built in like this. There we go. All right, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and do them one at a time. Just so we don't have to, like, delete them all again in the future. There we go. All right, cool. Do this bit, do this bit, do this bit. Seal all that off, just like this. I am starting to think this is too much of a straight line right here, but uh, we'll work it out. <laughs> we'll work it out a little bit anyway. Because what we could do is actually have a bit of an overhang by doing something like this. Which does work, but I'm not sure I like the idea of it. Maybe, uh, maybe, I don't know. So we'd have to do something like this backwards to there. We'd obviously have to do something with this one as well. And then we'd have to somehow attach it back on. I don't know how that would work, but we'd do something like this, I guess. You know what, that's okay, let's do that. Let's do it, there we go, to there. We then obviously use these guys on this piece, so we just attach this bit straight onto there, and I don't think that looks too bad, although maybe we don't use these, maybe we use these instead. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go, good. Can I do it all the way through? Yes, I can. And then we use these, one and two, and we do this. 
There you go, so now it's no longer like super flat on the side, it actually has some sort of curve to it, and I think that definitely saves this. It looks a lot better than it did. That's cool. Okay, so because it is a warship, we're not actually going to bend this around very much at all. It is just going to stay pretty much as it is, and yeah, we're going to go like this down from here, just once, probably. We're then going to go ahead and bend it around, just with one of these, and that is it. That is all we're going to do. So, we need to go to each of these, and we need to do this, and then we need to do all of these guys, and yeah, it's just, it's just going to work out like that, hopefully. Uh, do these ones too. Do, 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 do. There we go. Yes, all the way backwards to about here. And then on the bottom, obviously, we're going to have to go with this. I'm not going to make it like a true design on the bottom. I'm going to make it as simple as I possibly can, uh, whilst also, hopefully, making it look nice as I possibly can. As nice as I possibly can, I should say. So the next thing we do is obviously this. We then do one by twos, and then we fill it all in. So I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so the more I look at this, the more I think, well, I it's not long enough. The, the whole boat isn't actually long enough with how wide this thing is anyway. So what I might do is I might actually go into the files, do a modified build area, and just extend it a little bit more. We're going to keep it as wide as it is, we're going to keep it as tall as it is, but just make it longer. Um, which honestly, to me, makes a lot of sense, because at the minute, this thing is... Um, eight? Oh. Wait, that's that's way wider than expected. Okay, so 8.75, but it's still just as long as it was. So it's too wide. It is way too wide. So what I might do is actually just make it a little bit skinnier. Because it's, it's either I make it skinnier or we make it longer. Uh, so I think I might just try and push it in. I don't know if that's going to work, though. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. In fact, that's really annoying. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what to do here. Okay, so can you guys see the difference here? I haven't done the modified workbench, as you guys can probably tell. Uh, and what I've done instead is I've just made it skinnier. That is, that is the entire thing that I've done. So, instead of being 8.75 wide, it is now... Let's have a little look. Bam! It is now 6.75. So we took two meters off. Uh, it's still too wide uh, for what I wanted, but uh, I think this is going to be good enough for me. At least, I think, anyway. Um, it would be cool if it was a little bit longer, because then we'd have more things to be able to put on here. Because I'm thinking I want a front uh, cannon somewhere along here, probably around there. I then want another cannon on the front somewhere above it. I then want the bridge behind that, which is going to come backwards to about here. We're then going to have a funnel and a lifeboat kind of area here. And then, I don't know, maybe another funnel. I don't, I don't really know. And then probably some torpedoes back here, another deck gun, another deck gun, and that would be it. Um, but yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff that we should add to this thing. Torpedoes isn't something that I'm looking forward to adding, but um, that is something that we are going to have to add eventually. So, um, yeah, it's now skinnier than it was, but I do think this is going to look good. Don't know what to do with the back end, to be totally honest with you guys. I'm not very good with the back end of things like this. Um, so what I might do is actually delete most of this. Have this be, uh, piece be painted red. So go straight across here. Do, 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 do. And just jug this piece in. There we go. 
And then I think we can do something like this. And I might just leave it like that. I know it's a bit weird to leave it just open like this. Um, but yeah, I think that makes sense to do. Although actually, I'm thinking we, we move it forwards to about here instead. There we go. Which is a lot further forwards. We lose a lot of ship. But at the same time, um, that that's okay. That's all right. I don't want to jug in all of that either. Although uh, this floor is going to get moved. Because it, at the minute, this floor is like right in the center, which is really weird. It's very, very weird. So I'm actually going to go from here. I'm going to go to the front. And I'm going to delete the floor that's in the center. And there we go. All the way to here. That's a lot of floor. <laughs> it is. All right, cool. Let's delete all of this. Delete all of this. And continue and just keep deleting things as we go. There we go. Nicely done. Nicely done. Keep it going. I think I could actually delete these too. Oh, yeah. All of this space can actually be deleted. Interesting. Very interesting. There we go. Do another one. And there we go. Nice. Go to the front. Delete all of this, including these guys. And all of this. There we go. Cool. So we've got lots of it deleted. I'm really pleased with that. Uh, the inside actually doesn't look terrible, so that's good. The exterior looks pretty good too. And I think we're going to be able to make a pretty decent ship out of this. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the hull. Uh, do you think it looks good? Do you think I should extend it? Or do you think I should make it skinnier? Let me know. Anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.